Hi there, how you doing? Hope you're doing well and thank you for tuning in to the Dutch RC channel again. Today I have a sort of a, a kickoff for a new project. I've been uh, planning to do a scratch build quadcopter for quite a while. And uh, well, uh, like I said, this is the kickoff for that project. It's uh, raining cats and dogs uh, the last few days over here, so I've got time to do some building. And um, well, um, what you see here is my first template outline design of the quadcopter's frame. Now this is a um, 40 uh, centimeter size quadcopter. Well, it isn't yet. It's gonna be. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a bit different um, than uh, most quadcopters. Um, most uh, quadcopters have a center frame with arms and motors. This one is round. <laughs> Well, uh, why would you say? Well, uh, partly because uh, because I can, and I wanted to build something that's uh, different from the norm. Um, I'm sure it's been done before. Everything is, has been done before. Um, I haven't looked it up. If uh, more quadcopters like this have been built, probably. I don't care. This is what I'm going to be building. Um, one. Um, reason for, reason uh, for uh, for making this thing round with a uh, a cross in the middle like this is because because I'm going to put the motors on it at an angle they are going to be angled inwards like this this one is going to be angled inwards a bit and uh, here is going to be one motor and it's going to be angled in like this all four motors are going to have dihedral and um, why well because that creates mechanical stability um, it helps the flight controller out in leveling the quadcopter uh, and once again uh, the second reason for this design is because it's different and I like to build uh, different things um, Okay, I'm going to be using this uh, KK2 controller. You uh, have uh, probably seen me unbox this thing. This is the control screen that uh, comes with it. And um, of course there's going to be a receiver and a battery at the bottom probably. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, uh, there's more than enough space for a camera and as you can see the propellers won't be in in the frame of the the camera with this design that's a convenient side effect of this design um, okay and uh, at the moment this template design thing is made out of foam board of course the quadcopter itself is not going to be out of foam board it's it's quite flimsy this way as you can see it's just a template and I'm going to be building it out of wood um, I haven't decided on uh, what kind of wood if you have good ideas about that please hit me up a comment about that because I'm not super uh, experienced in uh, wood building um, I'm going to be using these cheap uh, Turnigy 2200 uh, D28-26 motors um, they're very cheap and I have at least four of them laying around so that's why I'm going to be building uh, the quadcopter with these motors they're not the best but I'm going to uh, try to build this quadcopter at a budget and uh, maybe if you also want to uh, be building a, a quadcopter you can follow along and know that th this quadcopter will be quite cheap to build 
Um, what more should I tell you about this? Well, yes, the center section is a bit wider than the than this section, as you can see, and that's uh, only because I want to be able to fit, of course, this flight controller. Um, like I said, it's a KK2, very simple uh, flight controller, easy to program, and they are they are reasonably affordable, and. You might, you might wonder how I have drawn this circle up. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world to draw a circle. And um, I was looking around for a uh, pan or a plate that had the same uh, uh, the diameter, but I didn't have one. So I made this. This is just a piece of foam board with a few holes in them, in it. Sorry. Here's a hole, there's a hole, and there's a hole. And here's the tip of a soldering iron. I just stick it through the middle over here. Now it's fixed at the center. Yes. And then I stick my pencil through one of the other holes. And then you can just draw a perfect circle. And uh, well, that's just uh, one form of making your own tools, I guess. Works perfectly. Um, so if you ever find yourself wanting to draw a good circle, this is how you can do it. Now, uh, in uh, future videos, of course, I'll be uh, uh, posting updates on uh, the build of this copter. I um, hope you'll be following along in that project. And at the end I hope to be able to show you how this thing flies. So stay with me. Thank you for watching for now. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Thank you very much. And see you back in another video. Bye bye.